It is always the same with Mark phones. A new one comes out, and we forget about the previous one. In the case of the LG G4, I think we should go ahead and take a look back, as the price has been dropping quite constantly, and I think overall, it might be a better phone for a lot of people than you might think. Let's go ahead and take a look at the LG G4 for the second time. I'm Jonas Chen, and this is Tech Seconds. The LG G4's build proved to be quite rugged and quite good over a long period of time, as a lot of wear and tear is not very all that visible unless you pick up the phone to look up close, and the drops that have occurred quite a lot haven't shattered the display, but only maybe scratched the corner of the phone, which is something quite impressive. And talk about displays, the LG G4 sure does pack a good one. It comes in at 5.5 inches, although its bezels are not all that big, which makes the phone compact. But also, its resolution is quite nice at Quad HD, and its color reproduction is great. I have never seen the usage of DCI-P3 on the display, and I really haven't found a difference, although I still have to say that I prefer Samsung's Super AMOLED displays over LG's Quantum display for now. Powering the G4 is a Snapdragon 808 running on Android Marshmallow. This is a really good combination and LG works have been really good as the performance with the phone is always smooth and doesn't bring any issues whatsoever as you would have expected from a last year's flagship. Wireless connectivity to this phone has been great at all times. I really haven't had one issue with it. And of course, Powering this phone throughout the whole day is a 2970mAh battery, which for me was good for about one day. Although it seems that the battery has degraded quite quickly, as in average for me, I only get around 2.5 hours of on-screen time, which is not all that impressive anymore. The good thing is, we can always just open up the back and replace the battery, which means this phone does have micro SD expendability and you can swap your battery quite easily when it's necessary. So, in game of the day, for who is the LG G4? Well, it is for anyone who really wants to have a flagship phone and doesn't want to pay all that much money for one, as this phone has now been dropping price quite quickly and quite nicely. It is still a very good phone in terms of performance, battery life, and display. So if you're out and looking out for one of them, go ahead and check it out. As in my opinion, I think that the quality hasn't worsened, even with a new LG G5 coming to the markets very very soon for you to purchase, if you haven't already purchased in your region.